Dragon Ball Super Superhero is the newest Dragon Ball film that is coming to the big screen. In this movie, we follow Piccolo and Gohan and Pan on an adventure to fight the Red Ribbon Army because they are back. Now, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this movie? If you've seen it, smash it down below. Smash that like button, click subscribe, and let's jump straight into this review of Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Okay, so Dragon Ball Super Superhero has been my number one anticipated film of the year. I have been so hyped with all the trailers that have come out, all the TV spots that have come out, the posters that have come out, like that Gohan IMAX one. <laughs> salving at that ultimate Gohan one. So incredible. And look, granted, this one's come out in Japan now. It's come out in Japan. So to avoid spoilers until August is near impossible. It is near impossible. It's just, it just is going to be completely impossible. So I was like, I need to see this movie. I need to see it. I, I have to see it. And I'm still going to go see it when it comes out on the big screen because I want to see it in the full best possible way I can, which is with a crowd on the big screen, with the surround sound and everything like that. But I have watched this movie now. I have watched it, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, I fucking love this movie. This movie is so, so good. It is, It goes hard. This movie goes so freaking hard. I am so pleased with what they gave us with Superhero. It exceeded my expectations. It really did. Look, I made a video earlier last year, later last year, earlier this year, one of the two, about the things I want to see in this movie and some of my concerns that I had in this about this movie as well. And one of them, one of my big concerns was the animation style and the choice that they chose to go with it. Now we didn't get the traditional 2D animation style that we get with the super uh anime we didn't get that style this is the new t style that they're trialing for this movie it's like a 3d model with a 2d on top of it that's the simple explanation i know there's more detail to that animation style and stuff like that i'm not a huge person that knows ins and outs of animation so i'm not the person to tell you about that but all i know is this is a different one and from what i've heard it's a 3d with a 2d on top of it i was concerned because some of the trailers it looked incredible and some of the shots in the trailers didn't look that good. But I can tell you right now, after seeing this movie, the animation is impeccably brilliant. It is so good. I thought when I saw Broly fight Gogeta that that was going to be absolutely like, whoo, top tier colors, animation for a fight. That final act, I could have sworn that I was tripping with the colors that they used, with the style they used, with just the choices they made, blew my mind. It is absolutely gorgeous. And that final act, the final battle, is up there for me as one of my favorites in Dragon Ball. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's so incredible. I'm not going to spoil anything in the movie, because I know some people want to be spoiler-free, and if you manage to get to August spoiler-free, that, that's... Good on you. I know I wouldn't be able to do it. The temptation is just, just there, especially for this, and it's just gonna, it's everywhere. But I'm telling you right now, if you're a Gohan fan, a Piccolo fan, or a Cell Saga fan, you are eating five star tonight, or when you see it, you are eating good, really good, because this movie is all centered around them. And what I'm so pleased with what I've always wanted them to do, because Dragon Ball Super, the show, is the Goku and Vegeta show. It's all about Goku and Vegeta. And we know where they are in the manga. If you guys read the manga and stuff like that, we know how strong these two are. These two are the pinnacle right now. They are God level. Be maybe even beyond God of Destruction at this point. Like, they are that high. So, to do a story like this, you have to write them out of it. And I'm glad they did. They don't have much screen time. They only appear in two scenes in the whole entire movie and a post credit scene. That's it. That's the only time you see Goku and Vegeta in there. It's so typical of Dragon Ball, how they wrote them out. It's 
it's not like this insane, deep, clever writing. It's just, it's peak Toriyama. It's peak Toriyama how they just are written out. It worked. It worked because it's Dragon Ball. And it's so good that they did because these guys will come in and just one punch everyone and win the battle like that. But this one, we mo- ma- mainly focus on Gohan, Piccolo, and Pan. And then some other people turn up, which I'm glad they did as well because it gave a bit more shine to some of these other characters, which is what I've been waiting for. These side characters that have been pushed aside because in Z, they were utilized. It had something to do. It wasn't just Goku and Vegeta. But in Super, it's just Goku and Vegeta. But they've brought it back and they told us a down-to-earth story for Dragon Ball. It's not. This isn't a universal threat. This isn't like the universe is at stake, like the Torment Power or anything like that. This is just on Earth. This is just about father and daughter, about a best friend. That's what it is. And I like that. I really like that concept. And it's so great. I think the, the connection they've made with Pan and Piccolo was a highlight in this movie. I love their relationship. It's so good, so warming to see Piccolo train Pan. That was awesome. And the bond that they are already creating. It's 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 incredible. Absolutely incredible. I like the design of the things that happened to Piccolo. The design that they give Piccolo in this movie, I really, really liked as well. I thought that was great. Gohan's design. I like Gohan's hair. I like his hair. We've seen it in the trailer with he's got the um the new spiky hair look in his base. I like that. I actually think that hair looks really good on him. It works for me. And then it, it's not the ultimate hair, but it's like, it's different. But when he goes ultimate, you can tell that he's in ultimate and he's not just in base. And I like that. I thought that whole design choice was incredible. There's other choices that they make in this movie that I was a bit skeptical about, but I love. And a guy that is a huge fan, my favorite, favorite scene of all of Dragon Ball is the Cell Saga with Gohan going Super Saiyan 2. That is my favorite scene in all of Dragon Ball. To have a scene that re- that is very similar to that, I'm not going to lie. It brought tears to my eye because I was just like, it made me feel like I did the first time I watched that. The first time I watched that, I was like, dude, Gohan's the, the sickest, man. This is awesome. And I got that vibe again. And the music, the score, this may be my favorite score. I, thought, I love the Broly score. I love Dragon Ball Super Broly score. This may be better. This may be better. It, it was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And that final battle is just... It's peak cinema. It's peak cinema. It's so incredibly good. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. I love these guys. I, I, I love them so much. Especially Gamma 2. Gamma 2 is so awesome. He is quirky, funny, but... Awesome. Superhero-esque. He is mad fun. Absolutely mad fun. Where Gamma 1 is the serious one. And he's sick as well. I really like them too. And the final battle is awesome. It's absolutely incredible with them too as well. There's this one one moment that was just absolutely awesome with Gamma 2. Gamma 2. That scene with Gamma 2 was just top, top notch. I loved it. I like the story. I like what they tried to do. It was something different, something unique, something we've been asking for, side characters to get the shine. We got that. Not much I can say where I'm like being negative about it because they gave me the things I was looking for. Yes, I didn't get UI. I didn't get UE. That's fine. It makes sense that they're not in this film. So I I can live with that, not getting that. But I got the side characters getting the shine. That was awesome. I got cool moments, cool fight sequences, that which is what I want in Dragon Ball. I got a decent story that between a f- brothers, basically, because Piccolo and Gohan are like brothers. They are, I mean, we all know that. And father and daughter. And I love that. And yes, we brought back the Red Ribbon Army, but it worked the way that they brought it back. I like that. So overall, I like this movie a lot. This is... this. Definitely in my top three best of the year. I was so hyped for it, and I'm so glad it exceeded my expectations. Do I think it's better than Broly? That is the question. I would have to see this again 
And when it's on the big screen, I'm going to go and watch it. I think once I see it on the big screen and get the full thing, because I saw Broly for the first time on the big screen, and I, I saw it twice in the one day. But that really, that atmosphere and everything like that, seeing it on the big screen was just what pushed it over the edge for me. So I have to see this on the big screen to make that judgment whether I like it more than Broly. So, but overall, I love this film. I, I loved it. I love it more than I thought. Yes, I have questions about certain things that happen in here, but I don't want to spoil it, so I can't really bring them up without spoiling it for you. There is questions I have and where we move from now with certain power scalings and everything like that. But yeah, so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of the movie. You've seen it. Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.